and you can star six to get into our lineup. Q&A session has started. All right, so there we are. Let's go to the emails. Uh, Deborah writes, I just got our cost statement for health insurance starting January 1st, and it went down $40 a month for my husband and I combined. Yay. Congratulations, Deborah. Okay. Um, okay, Rebecca here, and Rebecca, you, thank you for clarifying this. I was curious as to if I did the math correctly. She says 2020 divided by 30330 equals 066600. Thank you, De uh, Rebecca, for that. I meant to do that sooner, and thank you for uh, catching that for us. That's what the hidden coded message was. There's a 666 in there. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Peggy, also. Uh, and Phil. Thank you, Phil. And yeah, thank you guys. Uh, yes, there is a cost to the CD, so you you'll have to let me know. Uh, I can't I can't send those out for free. It's cost me too much money to do that. Sorry. Um, okay, so again, people who would like the manual to the iGuard, uh, we are happy to uh, send those to you. The new manuals. There's two documents which are highly detailed about what the eye guards do. And uh, so just send me an email and or Maria and we'll get this off to you as quickly as possible. Okay, I'm going to bring Maria Love back on the line. And Maria's if she's got any questions for us through text or email, we can bring her on and she can go through those. Maria, are you there? I'm here. There yeah. you are. I am. I'm here. <laughs> um, yeah. I, okay. What do you got for us? There's several questions. Um, this one is from Douglas H. And he says, when is Trump going to get rid of CIA Director Gina Haspel and the FBI Director Christopher Wray, who are totally obstructing? Well, first of all, it's important to understand that there is a massive operation going on. And we're not sure exactly the roles that Gina Haspel and Christopher Ray are playing, although Q put out a message recently and, and Christopher Ray had a big red X through his face, which indicates he's probably on the chopping block. However, we also have to think, has Christopher Ray purposely been stalling the release of information to time it perfectly for the military action plan and the election? You also have to consider that and maybe Gina Haspel is doing the same thing. I remember seeing, uh, I posted a picture of Gina Haspel walking into the 2018 State of the Union dress wearing a, hat, uh, a dress, a white dress covered in white hats, indicating that the CIA, at least part of it, had been turned over to the white hats. So that was a sign, a message. So I'm not totally sold that Gina Haspel has to go. And I think the Q message basically kind of indicated that as well. So we'll have to see how this plays out. So don't take things literally. Understand there's a big chess game going on under the radar that you're not aware of unless you kind of see through and read between the lines. Okay, next question, Maria. Okay, this is a burning question and it's from Steve. Uh, a. Burning. Is your email on fire? Yeah, it is. It's burning. He really wants this answered. <laughs> I have a question for Scott, which has plagued me for quite some time. Can you please give me a clear definition about who exactly Lucifer is? Well, Lucifer, Satan, of course, there's some, there's different names, of course. Essentially what they are is the fallen angels. And it's a, it's, it's kind of like a, they thought, Satan or Lucifer thought they knew better than God did, and they went against God's mandate to, and, and to rule over the earth. And essentially, all these people that we talk about continuously, the cabal, 
the deep state, the New World Order, the elite families, they're all Luciferians or Satanists who follow the teachings or the, the philosophy or the agenda of Satan and going against God. They think God is actually just the opposite of what we think of God as the benevolent one. They look to Satan for their guidance. And so therefore, they uh, are against the people of the earth. They want to destroy the earth. They want to destroy humanity. They want to rule over earth. They want to create a nuclear winter, go in there, their underground bases, and emerge later and rule over the earth with most of humanity basically wiped out. And that is part of the, and this is where it gets very bizarre, is part of the artificial intelligence agenda. And AI is related to the satanic agenda. It's all one and part of the same. It's, it's, it's very science fiction. It almost sounds like something out of a movie, but it's very real. And this is why you're seeing companies like Facebook and Microsoft and other tech companies pushing AI. But there's good AI and there's bad AI. So please realize that this is a very complex, very detailed, and almost an unbelievable story that's happening. And at some point, the people are going to be told what's been going on. But essentially, Lucifer is part of the fallen angels, the anti-God, the anti uh, agenda, anti-human agenda, to control and to feed off of the human race. So that's kind of in the nutshell. Next question, Ray. Okay, this is from Paula from Alabama. Yes. What do you know about the Chinese military being on the southern border of Canada near the USA? Yeah, I saw those rumors. I don't really, I can't verify any of that stuff, so I really can't comment on it. Uh, I don't see that happening. I, I see that um, the, mil the U.S. military has everything under control. There's been these rumors about China invading the U.S. for years and years, and it never happens. It's never happened. China is more interest interested in infiltration rather than invasion. They're more interested in subversion, insurgency. They're not interested in sending troops over here. I don't see it, but perhaps this is something of desperation on, behalf, on, on the Chinese, but I can't confirm any of the rumors, so I really can't comment it, but I'll, I'll, I'll certainly check into it. Okay, I'm gonna go to the Q&A uh, queue, and I'm gonna take our first caller. And uh, 747. Hi, Scott. Hi. This is Kimberly. Is this? Uh, <clears throat> Hi, Kimberly. Kimberly. Yep. Yeah. Um, yes. I thought that Hillary's emails had been released. Um, there was a document that was dropped uh, from the U.S. Department of State uh, Freedom of Information Act. It's a virtual mm -hmm. reading room, and there's 35,000 mm -hmm. in Clinton emails. Now, I don't know if these are the um, redacted ones. And they're going to release the unredacted this week. I didn't know if you knew about yeah. this information. Yeah. Uh, well, of course, Wiki, WikiLeaks released them too, and we'll put them on their website. But this is going to be the okay. official version, sanctioned by the State Department, from the official source. Remember, that okay. they've been saying that the, the emails have been missing, and I think they only released a part of them, not all of them. Um, okay. As I recall, so. I guess this is going to be kind of the official unveiling of them for the, all right. the American people to see. Yep. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay, Kimberly. Thank you. Good point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good point. Thank you. God bless. Up next, uh, we have 4588. Hello. Hey, Scott. Good evening. This is, hey, Scott. This is Paul. Yes, can you hear hey, me, Paul? Scott? Hey, I hear you, Paul. Go ahead. This is Paul What's over here in... Hey, we're in Colorado Springs over by NORAD. It's been a while since I've talked with you, but we do listen all the time and stuff. But I wanted to tell you some kind of a encouraging news for anybody else that, you know, has been listening to about what you've been talking about, Jasara, and we've been researching it. 
Well, around 9 o'clock uh-huh. this morning, I got an email um, stating in Credit Karma, because I do have an app with them, and it says, do you have good news? Your score went up. Check out to see what it was. So I did, and lo and behold, it shows that the uh, our mortgage has been uh, um, uh, basically forgiven. It's been swept away. Really? So we're talking $115,000. Uh, dollar mortgage wiped away and so my wife went in to uh, even though they're closed you can get in and register to view the website for the mortgage company and lo and behold it says uh, um, it has been uh, there's no more there's no more bill there's no uh, wow a uh, mortgage wow. that's awesome so it's and, and at the bottom it said paid in full so I just thought I'd let you know I think we may be discovering it for ourselves the, the debt forgiveness but She's going to call and, I mean, we've had three confirmations already, but she's going to call and talk to a live person tomorrow just to make sure. So I thought I'd okay. share that kind of cool news with you. Yeah, Paul, that's really exciting, so, and I'm very happy for you. And I, I appreciate you sharing that because that's been very encouraging for all of us. So let's hope it's uh, you can confirm it. It sounds like it's pretty solid to me, but keep us posted, okay? You got it. And thank you, Scott, for everything you guys have been doing. You're welcome. God bless you. Thank you, Paul. Fantastic news. Fantastic. Okay, let's go to our next caller. And it is 7751. Are you there? Howdy, can you hear me? I'm here. Who's this? God bless you. This is Scotty from New Jersey. Uh, I haven't talked to you in a while, but I'm like, I listen to you from day one. And I, I know all the news that you're saying, but you just intensify it, and I just bless you for that. you got a great voice. Thank you. Uh, I do a lot of volunteer at, like, uh, blind and deaf orphanages in Thailand and Philippines. I do, like, cancer children and orphanages in the Philippines, like in Manila and all around. But you know what's confusing me is all these questions these reporters are asking Donald Trump. Not one of them has said or mentioned the children that he saved. Like how many children he saved in 2020, 2019, 2017. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just that he saved and brought them back to the parents. Right. I'm like, why is it not right. out there in the news? Not one reporter asked this question. They don't want you to what's know this. Opinion? They don't want you. They don't want. They don't want to report any positive news about Donald Trump. Well, so that's their I understand that's that, but I'm, I'm not even talking about the good news. Like, hey, me and my, I got him on the phone with New Mexico. What's that news station? News Plus, News Max, News Max TV. Have you seen that one yet? No, I haven't. Oh, it's amazing. I got I got Comcast. He's got Dish and uh, what's the other one in New Mexico? Yeah, it, dude, they got it. It's, it's on. I my channel is like one 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 five, and I just it just came out last week. It's called News Max TV, and it's okay. They, they come out with some amazing programs. But what do, what is your opinion? Like, do you think that's going to come out? Like, it's, I think it's all about saving the children around the world. Like, even just not it is about the saving world. the children, and and they've gone all around the world and and freed these. Yes. Uh, human trafficking, slaves. Do you think that's slaves, the Trump card? Do you, do you think that's the Trump card, Scotty? No, I think the Trump card is going to be the uh, the information about how the cabal has exploited and used these children and also adrenochrome. So that's going to be the Trump card about the children. Yeah, but, and that's but, going but to the heart the entire world. about the children and how they abuse them to get the adrenochrome. So it's right. not about... Exactly. Like, it's, like Black Lives Matter, like what about children's lives matter? Like it's going that's to be right. a whole new movement. Yep, yep. You're going to see this well, come out eventually. Okay. I think it's going to come out patience. like next week. But thanks for uh, being on my uh, your biggest fans. You're welcome. Thank you. God bless. Okay. Uh, Maria, do you have anything else that's come in? Uh, no, not so far. Okay. A uh, question here from Cynthia. In regards to the White House striking down the CDC's mandate for masks and all public transformation, does this end immediately? I would assume so. 
And I don't know if the White House will put out a press release or if there will be a presidential proclamation on this. This just occurred over, I think, yesterday or, the, or on Friday that this just came out. So we'll see what's about to come out, okay? We'll just have to wait and see. Um, okay, so let's go back to the queue and A, and we'll finish up here. Let's go to our next caller, and that is number 0347. Are you there? Yes. Hi, Scott. Zero th Hi. My name's What's Marlene. Name? Marlene, <laughs> you have a question? Yeah, I wish we could get rid of the delay so we could speak normal. <laughs> um, yes, I do have a question. I was very uh, happy to hear about the other caller named Paul that got his mortgage uh, forgiven. Mm -hmm. And I've been thinking about this since the last time I asked you about the lease of a car rather than a purchase, and you told me a lease is a rental, it's not going to go away. So I was thinking about my mortgage, and I realized that my bank that I took the mortgage out with was Bank of America, and they had sold it to an investment company. So there's no yes. real particular person that owns my note anymore, which yes. I know is a but they're getting away with it. And I'm wondering if they are also going to do debt forgiveness, even though they're not a bank. Yes. Anything that was originally a bank loan, like a mortgage, is going to be forgiven. So I would assume at some point, now, since your mortgage has been sold to another company, it's going to, it may take some time for that company to actually comply with the Gassar law and mandate and forgive your mortgage. So um, I can't promise you exactly when, but I think eventually it will happen for you. Uh, and I think it's, it's, it's just a matter of time, okay? Yeah, yeah, thank you for that. I'm, I'm really curious about the rhyme or reason on how they pick which mortgages to get rid of first, you know, and I wish I could well, figure I that out. I, I don't think there's yeah. any rhyme or reason. I think it's a matter of the companies and when the companies are going to comply with the mandate and it's you know whenever they they feel like they have no choice but this is how they, they must do this i think that's yeah. really what it's coming down to i wish we could do like an okay. early survey to find out which banks are doing it more than others well i think we're going to hear a lot more information here this is going to start to pick up especially next month you'll hear probably a lot more about this so stay Great. tuned but I'm going to try. It has, it has begun. I'm very. Okay. I'm very uh, encouraged. Thank you so much, Scott. Thank you for taking my call. You're welcome. Have a blessed night. You're welcome. God bless. Thank you. Okay, so let's go to seven two four six. Hello, can you hear me? I can hear you. Who's this? I'm John. Hey, John, you have a question? Yeah, so um, I actually have have two, but I'll, I'll make them very quick. Um, first one is, in a post-Nasara, Jassara world, um, how do you foresee buying a home down the road if mortgages are going to no longer exist? Um, how do you think that will That's work? That's a very good question, um, John. That's a good question. And I'm, I'm sure that... Um, that is going to be determined whether or not um, the banks are going to be involved in this or if there's going to be some other programs that are going to arise to help people buy homes. And, uh, you know, I I'll have to check into that, John, because I don't really have an answer for you right now. Uh, but the, the, we're going away from the credit debt system. So there's going to obviously have to be some other new way for people to uh, – purchase homes and I have a feeling that there's going to be a lot of new programs coming up so all I can say for now is stay tuned but I'll see what I can find out now your second question all right um with the election coming up you know how um how do you see this all the the mass the forced mask wearing the you know restrictions on businesses just everything that's 
going on with the scam Um What do you, how, how do you see the final end game playing out? What do you think will happen? Or like, you know, how do you see this playing well, out all, think, after, after Trump wins re-election? Well, I think all of this is going to be exposed as part of a global uh, operation and the Democrats, governors were in on it, and this is all going to be exposed, and it's going to collapse, and the news media is going to get caught with their pants down, and all of it is going to be in terribly embarrassing and highly illuminating as for the American people. But it, it was important for the American people to get a taste of what the New World Order had planned, and this is what this whole scandemic was about. So I think Donald Trump is going to expose this. He's going to uh, bring out the truth. He's going to, it's going to completely collapse. And as Q said, these people are not going to be able to walk down the street because they've been part of a big scam and people are going to get, be really pissed off and they're going to demand something. But this is what Donald Trump needs. He needs the backing of the American people. And this is going to unite the country this is going to unite all Democrats, liberals, Republicans, conservatives together as one. And it's going to be determined that it's us against them. Us being the average American, we the people, versus the cabal, the globalist agenda, the New World Order, the, the satanic network. And this is all going to start to come out once he's reelected. Okay? Yeah, okay. I appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome, John. Thank you. God bless. Okay. Um, Maria, if you have any other questions, let me know. Let's go to 3120. You're up next. Hi, John. Hi. This is Marilyn. I have just one question. Hi. Hi. Yes. I wanted to know, um, has Gasara actually been signed into law already? Yes, as far as I know. There have been oh. about 209 countries that have agreed to this. But again, part of the agreement is that they clean out their governments. So, you know, if you have a corrupt government, you can't participate unless your government has been cleaned up. And so you have countries, you know, like Iran and Cuba, Venezuela, China, that still need to do some work to, to be able to participate in this. But that's why it's rolling out now sort of in phases across the planet and it's coming under the radar for now you know under sort of undercover and it'll emerge more and more and, and, and we're getting examples of people you know seeing their their credit reports change seeing their mortgages change seeing their debts change and this is going to be the first sign Marilyn okay okay well thank you so much appreciate it you're welcome god bless thank you Okay, let's go to another caller, 0529. Yeah, hi, Scott. This is Marilyn, another Marilyn. <laughs> um, another quick Marilyn question. in California. Yeah. Right? That's right. Yeah. This is the California one. Um, quick question about Jasara. Is everyone, in, is everyone in California named Marilyn? I just want to double check. I just don't check. know. <laughs> Okay. In any case, what I want to say is the one thing that I have of value that I'm leaving to my children is my home. And that's it. And I thought, okay, that'll be enough. They can split that, sell it, and split it. But what's going to happen then in cases of, will it have any value or what? Of course. What will happen in that event? If there's of no course. mortgages, now, how does somebody pay for a house to a seller? Well, that's a, that's a question. That's a good question. Uh, I tried to answer that earlier and said I really don't have information but I would imagine that like I said there's going to be new programs emerge helping people to purchase homes it's just not going to be the same old system that's based on your birth certificate and your credit and so forth I think there's going to be another system similar that's going to take its place it's going to be far more just and my understanding is that even if you so let's say you purchase a home, you put a down payment, you start to pay on it, and you can't continue to pay on it. You get all that money back. You don't lose it all. You're not foreclosed upon, but they will sell your home and give you what you have put into it. So um, again, that's a new program. I've just heard something about, I don't know exactly the name for this, but 
um, I would imagine you're just going to see a, a change to the whole real estate uh, um, marketplace. And there's going to be new ways of purchasing that's going to emerge to help people. And it's going to be a lot more fair and just and equitable for all parties. So don't worry. Well, you'll be able to sell your it house. Sounds wonderful. It's just a, a blessing, a huge blessing. But I was just wondering how sellers will make it's their money. It's a mystery money. for now. It's a mystery yes, it for is. now. Yes, it is. But th th somehow that will work out. Otherwise, the whole real estate market would be meaningless. Yeah. Right. Okay. That's not going to happen. <laughs> Thank you. Stay tuned. All right. No, I couldn't. Thank, Thank you, Scott. You, I surely will. God Thank bless. you so much. Bye bye. God bless. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's go to our next caller. And it's 6264. Scott, how's it going there, bud? Fine, how are you? Who's this? Very good. This is Dan from NorCal. Um, quick question. Hey, Dan. Kind of, just a kind of a confirmation, a couple of uh, calls back. You were giving a description, and you have before. You've touched on the idea that uh, some of the pre-qualifications uh, and the requirements or whatnot for the uh, Jasara thing for multiple nations is to get their act together and not have their, you know, not have mm -hmm. problems in their government and, you know, kind of step in line. And you name Well, they have to country. eliminate... They have to eliminate the New World Order cabal from their governments. They have to be a pe government for the people, just like America is doing. Yeah, okay. So my, my quick question was, I just kind of wanted you to reconfirm. Now, these rogue countries, say, for instance, that are slow to do this or whatnot, maybe it takes mm -hmm. them six, ten, ten months or whatnot, mm -hmm. that's not going to hold us up, correct? We're, we're no. in line with this. No. We'll, we'll go forward with the benefits, and if they lag, that's their problem. Right. That's their problem. Oh, okay. And okay. so that that certainly will provide them with motivation and incentive to clean up their act, isn't doesn't it, in order to be able to Well, well one would think that that would, that would be reasonable in a fair-minded person. I'm not convinced that the leaders and half the people over those rogue nations are all that fair-minded, but we'll see. <laughs> well, they have to go. The leaders have to go. Those the, the people that there you go. the leaders that stand in the way of this have to go. There's and the people must demand uh -huh. that they be removed. Okay. Yeah, that totally they makes sense. Stay. There you go. Well, okay, well so, orchestrated plan. Very good. Thank you for that confirmation. Okay, Dan. Excuse me, Dan. Thank you. God bless, Dan. Thanks. Okay, let's go to two eight zero eight. Hi, Scott. This is Gail from Minneapolis. Hi, Gail. Hi there. You have a question? I, some, I do. I have some questions on the IDAR. Can I, may I ask those? Well, I can try, but go ahead. Uh, you know, when, I think when you first started talking about at the beginning of the call, you mentioned about the Shanghai crystal, that's something about on the bottom of the... Of the mm -hmm. um, and I don't see that. I, 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 don't, I don't understand where that is. It should be a little um, something that's that's attached to the bottom of the eye guard. Well, I mean, underneath, you know, it's just all flat. I don't, I don't know about it. Mm. Okay. Well, perhaps yours didn't come with it. So um, oh. I, I suggest you call Maria Love, make an appointment, and she'll go over that with you and, and describe it for you. Okay. Uh, What's your other when, question? Yeah, well, I just uh, when uh, you know, we, I'm going to have to have some of these links removed, and I'm I just looking at this thing, wondering if they're supposed to remove from the top or by now, the Now, what top. you're going to have to do with the links is you're going to have to, if you need those removed. Now, remember, they made this a large size to fit a variety of rings. Right. Right. You're going to have to take that to a jeweler to have right. those removed. Okay. Oh, I guess we'll figure it out. Which which one to take? You out. take it I to a to... jeweler and have yeah. the links removed. Otherwise, you can wear it up on higher on your arm or on your ankle. And remember, this is not a watch. It's meant to be a balancing. You don't have to wear it all the time, Gail. You can wear it just when you're at home at night or when you're relaxing or even if you'd like to sleep wearing it. But you don't have to wear it all the time. You don't have to be out with it on you all times. Isn't so there something that's mentioned 
maybe last 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 week's call about a certain number of hours that is uh, is beneficial. I mean, as far as not yeah. feeling like you have. I believe it's. I I don't recall the exact number of hours. Uh, Maria, do you, maybe you might remember, but um, that's a good question about the maximum benefits. I'll have to double check into that. But um, if we can answer that for you tonight, we will. Other than that, um, we'll let you know next time. Okay, Gail. And then just real quick, that fellow that you mentioned about Newsmax TV. That yes. is amazing. I, I did send you a, an email on that just to say that there's a there's even a better uh, uh, <clears throat> news station than, than than Fox out there, and we well. get it on we get it on 10:27. My husband said here, uh, I think on regular TV. On but, cable, on cable, just satellite um, or cable? Well, I don't think so. He just said it was on regular TV. That's what he said to me. But well, we have stream streaming TV, so. You have you have your you know your screen channels and then you have just the regular TV stations and that's well the regular TV stations are considered broadcast and they would be digital broadcast now I don't think it's on there I think you're talking about either satellite or cable well anyway or... We, we we also get a <clears throat> excuse me pardon me <laughs> excuse me I oh sure uh it's, it's we we actually have, uh, find it on YouTube. On YouTube, got it. Yes. Okay. It's new TV and it's wonderful, just excellent. So. Okay, well I'll check that out. They don't, hold, they don't hold back anything. I mean, they're okay. And it was so great because when when uh, Trump had his rallies, they said uh, we don't break in. We just we're going to give our audience the whole show, you know, this whole rally because we feel it's very important that the people hear everything he says. Great. That was, that was okay. Nice. Thank you. Awesome. All right, Gail, thanks for letting us know. God bless. Yes, God bless you too, Scott. Thank you. Okay. Um, geez, I'm sorry, folks. I, I, sne I had to sneeze there, and I couldn't mute myself. Okay, let's go to 0301. Are you there? Hi, Scott. This is Pam. Hey. Hey, Pam. Hey. Do you have a question? <laughs> Uh, I just have a comment for the lady who was just speaking. I got my eye guard this week and took it down to the jeweler, and they said yes. I'd have to take about six links off, and I didn't want to do that because there's too much technology I would lose. Well, mm -hmm. my sister, who is a very common-sense person, suggested that I get one of those wide um, big rubber band things that companies put out that they might put their logo on or whatever. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we went to uh, an Amish uh, flea market, and I happened to find one, and I just have it pulled up over my eye guard, and it just holds it in place about an inch Good. from my elbow, and yeah. it works. Now the, great. Now, the other thing you might think about doing is putting um, – perhaps something around your wrist, a wristband, but make sure that the the eye guard can touch your skin. So in other words, like if you had a wristband and then you put a hole in it just to, to make up the room to the, to, you know, the links. If you don't want to take out the links, then that's something else you might consider as well. Although I need to speak well, in this, multiple ways. Yeah, it is touching my skin. I'll, I'll send a picture to Maria how it works. Okay. Good. But it works really well. But I, I love my eye garden. And